Hey guys, today I'd like to share with you how to identify the springs on your F2X, F3X, and F8X chassis BMW cars. In front of me here, you can see I've got a couple different springs uh, and a couple different colors, uh, but all of them are made by BMW and either uh, come stock on BMW cars or uh, come in a BMW M Performance spring kit. One thing you'll notice about all these springs is they all have these barcode stickers on them. And if we take a closer look at them, you can see that on each barcode there is a two-letter key. This particular one is FH. Now this two-letter key is specific to the part number of this spring. So every single spring with this same part number will have a barcode saying FH. So if you're looking for a replacement spring for your vehicle and you know what the barcode reads, you can just look at say, you know, eBay or forum listings where people list springs and ask sellers, hey, does the barcode match the letters that I'm looking for? One neat thing is you can actually check the barcode on the springs on your car while they're installed. So I'm looking at a front spring right now and I'm just, you know, peeking between the uh, tire and the uh, fender um, and I can see the barcode on this spring in here. Um, and uh, if I reach in there with a tool or something or, you know, maybe even if your arm fits in there, you can bend the tag um, just a bit to see what the two letters are. You can do the same thing for the rear by getting down low on your hands and knees in the rear car of the car area and looking up at the rear spring. Additionally, these barcodes also have letters, or sorry, they also have words next to, next to it. This one says unten or lower. Unten means lower in German and oben means upper. So if I look at this uh, rear spring over here, this one next to uh, the uh, I.O. It says uh, open. And so what this means is that this is the orientation of the spring when it's being installed. So since this says open, the barcode's on the top side or upper side, so we'll install it like so. And for the front springs, since it says unten or lower, it means the barcode is oriented like so when they're installed. So why are some of these springs red and some of them black? Well, black springs are your standard springs. Um, you know, my stock springs are these black ones right here. The red springs uh, typically come from BMW's M Performance spring line. So this front spring is from an F33 uh, convertible uh, M Performance kit. And uh, this uh, red rear spring is from an F30 M Performance rear kit. So how are you supposed to match the two letter barcode with an actual part number. Well, you need to use the BMW ETK system as spring table to do that. So let's go ahead and hop on over to the computer and I'll show you how to use that system. Okay, so here we are looking at the BMW ETK logon system. Um, the URL for it is right up here. And uh, Additionally, uh, if you want to find it out, uh, you can go to the Bimmer uh, post forums to my build log and I also have the link and the logon information down here under helpful reference links. So um, to log on, we have to enter our username, uh, which in this case is just going to be EU uh, followed by six ones and the password is BMWETK1, all lowercase. So we'll go ahead and log on you'll see this pop-up come up. Sometimes this ends up being in different languages for one reason or another, but you want to hit this uh, start button over here. So this takes us to the BMW ETK system, and uh, this system is great. It's, uh, I'm pretty sure this is where real OEM pulls its data from. Um, so just like on the real, real OEM site, you can choose your different chassis over here on the left, uh, which will uh, open up more options in this field here. So for example, if I want to just look at F22s and I can choose any of these uh, different models. So maybe look at an M240i um, and then from there I can choose uh, left hand drive, what year, and registration month. So we'll just, say, just use these as an example. Um, so now this brings me to all the different parts for that. Uh, if I want to do specific parts, I can look over here. If I want to do graphical um, 
then I can choose graphics parts search. Uh, so this is what kind of what you would see on real OEM. Um, and, you know, you can click through uh, to look at the different uh, sub trees and parts. Uh, but for springs, we want to go to specific parts search and go to the spring table. So once we're here, um, you know, these fields just came in from what we had already populated, so we can just uh, go look at it. So one of the things you'll notice looking at this is uh, it gives you a bunch of different options to check off here. And so if I were to configure, say, a uh, US car, it'd have adaptive suspension, sunroof, uh, electric seat, through loading system, navigation professional. Um, let's give this one Harman HK system uh, and also hot climate. So if we hit calculate springs, for these selected options, uh, the front axle spring is going to end in uh, 635 and the rear is going to end in 637. So this is how you can pair looking at the uh, two letter barcode on your spring with what the actual part number is. And um, you know you can also for fun play around with the options and, and see what else they might have. So like hmm, let's see what the sport suspension has and uh, what this sport suspension is. This is the M performance uh, sport suspension for this car. So if I went to look at that, I would see that it has a different front spring and a different rear spring. So, hey, you know, if I want to know the part numbers for the M performance spring set, uh, these are the uh, spring uh, part numbers I'd be looking for. Um, but if you want to see your explicit uh, uh, vehicle's parts, I'll go ahead and delete the vehicle ID here. Um, we'll go back to the spring table and you can enter in the last seven of your VIN. So I'll enter in the last seven of my VIN here. And yep, it shows my F31 328D, and it has already selected the options that my car has. So from here, I can see that I have a 922 front spring and a 952 rear spring. So since I looked at those barcode uh, letters, I now know that a 922 front spring has barcode letters FH and a 952 rear spring has barcode letters GR. So if I ever needed to find replacements, um, I could go do that. Additionally, if I wanted to say switch to different springs uh, for other cars, um, I could uh, look up those part numbers.